Why does Cad Bang have a lightsaber? Oh, you're asking a season three question. I just want to point out how brave it was to take questions after we showed that video. Oh. Bring it. I'll show you more. Ask me more. Why does Cad Bane have a lightsaber? You know, there's a guy walking around. In fact, he might be in this room. His name is Stuart Lee. He's an episodic director for me. And he directed the episode where that happens. That wasn't in the script. <laughs> and Stuart felt very strongly that that scenario could occur. And because Stuart's been probably one of my most loyal Jedi Knights, I, I allow this situation to happen. So here's the thing. You'll be here next year. You'll be a year older and a year wiser. You'll actually know what the context is. And then we can finish this talk then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't answer that directly right now. My tricks don't work on me. How about money? <laughs> you just, uh, before you go on to your next question, sir, I've got something here in the front. You know, actually, we can't hear you, so if you could come up here, that would be great. Um, this, it's a trap. <laughs> what is this? Uh, my name is Craig Glenn here from, from Guinness World Records. Okay. And I'm um, excited to say that Clone Wars will actually made it into this year's Guinness World Records. Oh. Sure. Sure. Okay, well, yeah, uh, I mean, you can't just stop right there. Well, actually, I, think, I think he's a Jawa. <laughs> a Jawa, that's fine. It would be cruel to not let him ask his question. Alright, Jawa has the last question. Go ahead. Um, well, I 
watch the StarWars.com episode commentary every time I've been years. And I was watching the one with Bounty Hunters. Were you really Embo? <laughs> <laughs> Were you Embo, dude? Yeah, I'm Embo. It's out there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the delusions. Yeah, that happened because we were doing temp for it, and I get sometimes tired that most of the aliens in my show have to speak English. So I wanted Embo to speak an alien dialogue. So um, I picked up this book that my editor, who's French, had underneath his avid, and it was a, a Smurfs in French. So, and I can't speak French. I do so very poorly. And uh, I opened it up, and I started saying, yes, and then Matt Wood, I said, you know what, man, take this and do something with it. Make it sound cool. <laughs> and Matt Wood, and by cool I meant nothing like me. <laughs> and so Matt Wood took it and processed it, and it suddenly sounded cool, and you couldn't recognize me. So I was like, well, that's great. And then we kind of just forgot about it. And it stayed in the episode. And then we we're kind of getting towards airing the episode, and I was like, you know, Karen, we never replaced me. And we're like, ah, oh, well, we like it. So we like it. originally, Embo died. So I didn't think it would be a problem. But then the crew liked Embo so much, but they made him come back to life. And I was like, oh, suddenly I'm the voice of a rather interesting character. <laughs> and then George was like, yeah, I really like that Embo. Uh, we should bring him back. And I was like, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's do that. So, thank you for the question. And one more thing. I don't know if you'll be able to answer or not, but is season three the last season? Oh, heavens oh. no, my friend. <laughs> Do not worry. Star Wars. Now, they are to your to the next. As long as you tune into Cartoon Network and watch it, my friend, there shall be more Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I think there will only be more Star Wars.